Sunday, October 17th, and the first thing I want to do this morning is apologize for the misinformation that I sent out the other day in my social security rant. That rant was based upon information I got from the state teacher's retirement fund, and I misinterpreted the information as coming from social security. So that's why I said that uh, not everybody was getting the 5.9% increase in COLA. And I apologize. And so, having said all of this and given you my apologies, it's time to move on to today's subject. Who is Q? Q is believed to be the leader of QAnon, which is a far-right conspiracy theory which promotes the idea that Satanists, pedophiles, are running the government, the media, and the financial sections of this country. Now, QAnon is not a small group. There are millions in this country who believe the theory and follow and listen to everything that comes out from this group, from the leader of this group. And this group was created online. This is one of the evil things that came out of the internet, that millions of people believe the far-right theories and the evil deeds that the government is doing. In fact, this group was so bad, so hard, so tough, that they even accused Donald Trump of doing things, which I find unbelievable. But in any event, the reason I'm ranting is because the leader of this group, a man who appeared in court, in Congress somewhere, and promoted the idea that anything you said on the Internet was okay. You could spout as much hate speech as you want. It did not matter whether it was true or false. You were allowed to say that because we had freedom of speech in this country. And that's what his whole premise was. We have freedom of speech in this country, and therefore I can declare anything. And lo and behold, millions of people believe in QAnon. The gentleman I'm talking about has now decided to run for Congress in Arizona. Arizona is QAnon Center. The man's name is Ron Watkins. Now, this is a very dangerous thing because QAnon experts have declared that the mentality of the QAnon followers does not accept defeat. Any defeat to a QAnon individual is viewed as cheating by them. They are a very partisan group. They will not accept the loss. So if you think that the big lie was something, you ain't seen nothing yet because the QAnoners will go bonkers if their candidate loses. If they win, everything was fair and square. But if they lose, it was rigged. And we have seen what happens when some person of interest, I'll call him a person of interest, starts screaming about fraud and rigging. We have riots. So what will happen if Watkins loses in Arizona? Will we have gunfights? Who knows? So why am I bringing this up now? I'm bringing this up now as an indication of what's wrong in this country. We put people in position of power. We allow citizens to elect them. And I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem. I think people should be allowed to run for office. And I think they should be allowed to win if they're good enough. And if they're not good enough, they lose and they can accept it and maybe they can go out and try and make themselves a better candidate. But I think the political parties in this country have an obligation to the citizens of this country and to the members of their party. There must be a vetting process. There must be a way that the party can pick a candidate who has the knowledge not necessarily the experience, because many people are beginners, but has knowledge, 
has intelligence, has proven to be sane, not a madman who spouses all kinds of satanic theories about pedophiles and blood-sucking. Who cares? Who would even listen to that kind of stuff? Well, obviously, in the United States, people care about that stuff, and they listen to it, and they believe it. And I believe that it's the responsibility of the political parties to make sure that their candidate is an upstanding citizen, not a lunatic. Now, one can say, we have to do this. We, we're going to let this guy in, and we need a win. Well, a win is not always a win if you put, if you put those kind of people in office. And we could go down a long list and look and say, this person really shouldn't be in office. We've had anti-Semites in the Congress. We don't need more lunatics in Congress. We don't need QAnon in Congress. QAnon is like a third party in this country. Let them run on the ballot as a third party. Let them run as QAnon. But don't let them run as a Democrat or a Republican. Although I doubt that any QAnon follower would run as a Democrat. But if we can allow people like Ron Watkins to run for Congress, there is something major, major, major wrong in this country. And I've said there's plenty of things wrong in this country, but this is over the top. This is over the top when we have a man who tells fairy tales and rouses the public. And if you watch some of these people, if you watch them talk at rallies and everything, it's borderline insanity what they believe. So I don't understand. I really don't understand where we're going in this country. Where things like QAnon prop. Bad enough we have white supremacists, racists, and we have movements against everything, and now we have a QAnon candidate for Congress. What is the world going to think? Forget about what we think about ourselves, because we're not doing a good job of that. But what impression are we giving to the rest of the world? So I think we have to do better. I don't know how. I don't know how. If There are places like Arizona where QAnon evolves and grows. And it's dangerous. Most of you have guns. So in any event, I just want you to know what's going on. I want you to know about the candidates that are being chosen around this country. Because many of us don't pay attention to what's going on in Arizona and some of those other states. And I don't know that I've run into any real QAnon person in our region. But I'm sure there are plenty, and probably in Suffolk County. I'm sure there are QAnons in Suffolk County. So I'll leave you with those thoughts today. Bye. would be truly unbelievable if not for so many people believing it.